Ladies and gentlemen, it's a privilege to be in a maximum miracle center where Pius Miru and uh, her, his wife, uh, Lucy, were celebrating their anniversary. But we are also privileged to be with the Deputy President, His Excellency Presid Deputy President Ruto. And uh, I, I was impressed the way he talked about Kenya being a nation of Christ. I believe, Tony, it was good for us, for you also, to be with the vice president in a crusade, in a massive crowd. Indeed. And since I'm in Kenya, that's the biggest one that I've been to. And it was very interesting, especially being amongst the vice president and his words they were so holy towards uh, christianity so i was very impressed with that we take you to kasarani stadium and see where we had with samaya ruto this is just a wonderful nasisi kama wa kristo as christians in kenya we want to encourage the church that this Kenya is a God-fearing nation. And I speak to you, I speak to you on behalf of the government of Kenya and as Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya that this nation shall continue to be a God-fearing nation. We are unashamed and we are unapologetic about our faith in God. We proclaim God in this nation publicly, openly, without any fear, because this land belongs to God. Uh, with me are many leaders, why not for time, they would uh, also have an opportunity to say something. But let me allow me to uh, niwasimamishe. Pale tuko na mbunge wa Dagoreti South. Anaitwa Kiarie. Jina yake ingine KJ. Eh. Ni amezaliwa katika Maximum Miracle Center. He's a the child of this congregation. Pale tuko na ndugu yetu mheshimiwa Kiaraho mbunge wa kutoka kule Olkalao Nyandarwa na mke wake Mrs Kiaraho Hapa tuko na mheshimiwa Kingangi mbunge wa kutoka kule Mbere na mke wake yuko hapo Santeni sana Hapa tuko na mheshimiwa Tongoyo mbunge wa Narok West Hapa tuko na mheshimiwa Anthony Kimani Ishungwa mbunge wa Kikuyu Pale tuko na Rigadi Gashagwa mbunge wa Madhira Huko Karatina ndio nyumbani huyu mungwana anaitwa David Gikaria mbunge wa Nakuru East Kule bonde la ufa Huyu mama anaitwa Rehab Mokami Mbunge wa kina mama wa kutoka Nyeri County um, Na huyu mungwana anaitwa Saoli Yeye ni MCA wa kule kwetu Kiserian Pale tuko na Sabina Chege Mama Mbunge, Mama wa County wa Moranga, Jenny Makofi, Ameketi, Hapo, 
na MCA wetu wa kutoka Chinga Bigeni Makofi anaitwa Bwana Dhuku na hawa ndio watu wa kama eh, bishop unajua wewe ni bishop kama hii yetu ingekuwa dini mimi ningekuwa deputy bishop ya hawa <laughs> well that is what happened and i was also be able to had opportunity to be on the platform with the getting the cake of anniversary with the vice president and pius miro is feeding us God that God chose during this season to bless Kenya and the whole world. We thank you and we honor you. Thank you so much. Now we are going to share the happiness. We do not remember the mountains we have crossed or the, the, the suffering, but now it's joy, total joy. Thank you so much. They are sharing their victory, the work of God they have done in Kenya. We thank you and we worship you. Now they want to share. Now Bishop want to see how it has been for 25 years. It is of victory, victory, victory. Amen. And now we have our deputy sharing the cake. Please appreciate. We have there. Thank you so much. I know so much the guests that are here. We are not going to all the guests that are here. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, Bishop. It's wonderful. You have done it many times. Year by year, from first year to this year, you cover 25. And I want to say, Pius Miro was my interpreter 1993 at Kenyatta Conference Center before he married Lucy, his wife. And Lucy was our interpreter at the conferences which I used to do at Kenyatta Conference Center. Uh, you saw the family who are now leading the church of Maxima Miracle Center. What do you want to say when they are acknowledging me, I'm their father? Well, I was amazed because the way that they look up to you, it makes me to believe that they believe in you 100%. And they seem to be very, very nice people, and they're very much interested in you, my father. We wish you a very wonderful time, Pius Miru and Lucy. I am your father here, and the Maximum Miracle Center, the children, I am your grandfather, and I'm the founder of the gospel, and I thank God who took me to England. I am back here now, and may God bless you so much as you are watching also this program on DBN, and also I want to appreciate His Excellency President Ouro Kenyatta, his most wonderful historical president we ever had, to have collusion, understand with the position, shake the hand that bring Kenya to one peaceful country. I'm also impressed more the development which has been done for the past few years. His Excellency President Uru Kenyatta is on power. And this was acknowledged with the Deputy President Samai Ruto for what they have achieved and happened for the particular time they have been working to this country as the head of the state. Above all, gratitude to President Uru for stopping homosexuality, which have been pushed by the Westerners to come and defile our country, Kenya. President Ruto, with Deputy President Ruto said, Kenya is a Christian country, surely it is. And President Uhuru recently you emphasized that no homosexuality, no westernized here in the country of Kenya. I, Gilbert Dea, I give you a million support and I'm proud to be a Kenya, being a country which is free from homosexuality. Thank you very much and God bless you. This is Nan Tony. May the Lord be with you all. And Gilbert Dea. That's why I repeatedly say that for Kenyans today, the issue of gay rights is really a non-issue. We want to focus on other areas that are day-to-day -day living for our people. The health issues that we have discussed with President Obama, these are critical. 
issues of ensuring inclusivity and of women, a huge section of society that is normally left out of the mainstream of economic development. What we can do in terms of infrastructure, what we can do in terms of education, in terms of our roads, in terms of giving our people. One of the major issues, and it's a holdover from sort of colonial Victorian, is the issue of sexual preference in many African countries. In Kenya, to be gay, the LGBT community is, is illegal. They just want to have equal rights, the same privacy and equality as all other Kenyans do. Is that something that you aspire to for your country? I want to be very clear, uh, uh, Christiana. Uh, there is, I will not engage in a subject that is of no, it, uh, it, it is not of any major importance to the people and the Republic of Kenya. This is not an issue, as you would want to put it, of um, human rights or this. This is an issue of society, of our own base as a culture, as a people, regardless of which community you come from. This is not acceptable. This is not agreeable. This is not about Uhuru Kenyatta saying yes or no. This is an issue that the people of Kenya themselves, who have bestowed upon themselves a constitution, right, after several years, have clearly stated that this is not a subject that they are willing to engage in yeah, at this time and moment. In years to come, possibly long after I'm president, who knows? Maybe our society will have reached a stage where those are issues that people are willing freely and open to discuss. I have to be honest with you. And that is the position that we have always maintained. Those are the laws that we have, and those are laws that are 100% supported by 99% of the Kenyan people, irregardless of where they come from. So, I, I it's think a very you're going to get yourself into trouble. Mm. Because what you've categorically just stated is that this is not an issue for us, for the Kenyan people, yes. and you don't think that the idea of their privacy, their equality, their rights Christian, is important. This is, uh, uh, but it's a global issue it's, right now. It's, it's important to them where they are. Why is it I am saying to you that it as is president not of the country? important to me as the leader of 49 million Kenyans. And after, if you want to ask me my personal opinion. What is your personal after opinion? After I finish my process, I can talk about my personal opinion. But as the leader of the people of the Republic of Kenya, I, I represent that which our people are desirous to be. And I have no choice, but that is my position. Would you publicly say that people who are LGBT, gay members of the Kenyan population should not be discriminated against, should not be violated, should not be abused? All, all, no Kenyan, no Kenyan should be abused, should be, you know, uh, uh, um, mistreated, in any particular, every Kenyan is protected by law. Every single Kenyan. But they also must recognize that their freedoms are also, must be taken into the entire context of the society that they live in. Because this is not a question of governments accepting or not accepting. This is a question of society, right? Currently accepting. it's a legal process. Yes. And that legal process is based on the society that you live in, and that's why laws are made. So, I think that's all I have to say about that particular stuff. Which have been pushed by the Westerners to come and defile our country, Kenya. President Ruto, Deputy President Ruto said, Kenya is a Christian country. Surely it is. And President Uhuru Recently, you emphasized that no homosexuality, no westernized here in the country of Kenya. I, Gilbert Dea, I give you a million support, and I'm proud to be a Kenya, being a country which is free from homosexuality. Thank you very much, and God bless you. This is Nan. Tony. May the Lord be with you all. And Gilbert Dea.